Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people of the internet? It's Boss here, but you guys, another YouTube video back onto my channel. And today, for you guys, I'm gonna be doing another edition of Store Time is Fun Time, where I talk about things that have happened to me in the past or things I've done in the past for your entertainment and story time form. And today, for you guys, I'm gonna be doing a, another sex story back onto my channel, or kind of sex story, almost sex story. Yeah, that kind of story. And it's kind of a fail story, uh, to be a you know, to uh, you know, basically, to be honest, um, I don't know how to really describe it besides the fact, you know, the way the title is probably going to be titled. So yeah, it's going to be failed sex at a zoo, and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And yes, baby, you and me are just animals, and we're going to be doing it like how they do it in the Discovery Channel. And I want to kill myself because it's mammals, not animals. But you know, I fucked up the lyrics, but I don't care. I'm going to keep going with it. And uh, today's story is going to be a good one. And thank God I didn't get caught because if I did get caught, then I'd be a registered sex offender because why don't you know, I'm actually, no, I'm a minor. So I wouldn't be a registered sex offender. So never mind. Fuck it. I have a couple of days before I can actually be a registered sex offender because I'm still a minor and in actually around probably, you know, since I post this, I'm in nine days, I'm going to be an adult. So that's going to be sad. And uh, if I ever get in trouble with the FBI ever again, I'm going to get fucked because I'm going to be an adult and I can be charged as an adult in a court of law and it's not gonna be fun but whatever with that rambling on as usual if you guys do want to follow my social media my links will be down in the description as well as on screen it's bossy for my snapchat instagram and twitter that'll be much appreciated if you guys do follow me on those social media platforms and also subscribe to my youtube channel it'll be much appreciated besides that let's get on to today's story today's story dates back all the way to far far back jk just junior year of high school and mind you this was past well past the the time that me and my girlfriend actually started becoming you know sexually active and all that and uh we had a field trip to the zoo one day and uh mind you it's it's actually pretty fun it was the miami metro zoo and um if you guys are from the, in the miami area you guys probably have been there it's big as fuck and i'm gonna be describing you know some parts you guys probably do recognize obviously and then you can see how we actually almost had intercourse at the zoo so uh, fast forwarding on to the actual day, it was hot as fuck, mind you, and this, I'm going to be describing why it's hot as fuck and then why it's going to be, you know, kind of relevant in the future in the story. It was hot as fuck. It was sweaty as, as balls. My balls were sweatier than, than ball sweat, basically. I mean, that shit was just pouring. Not to mention, I put on cologne for this future, which was a bad idea because cologne with sweat kind of does attract flies and you just don't want that i had so many fucking bug bites during that trip not to mention you know i was wearing my running shoes i was wearing my roche runs and that shit was still not comfortable to walk around the miami metro zoo and it was just not that fun except you know except for the part where i got my you know my slushy and my icy no my icy was my icy and uh my my uh my ice cream and all that good stuff because you know <laughs> your boy gotta you know keep cool under that weather you know it was actually a pretty fun day and after like probably walking around around my girlfriend wanted to use the bathroom and the closest bathroom was the bathroom near the bird exhibit i believe and i i'm pretty sure it's the bird exhibit and uh in this bathroom you go through a hallway you know a hallway then you take a turn into the hallway and then there's the uh women's bathroom and then the men's bathroom now the women's bathroom was out of order and uh you know we just seen it we just ignored that and it was like hey you know what we're dating we've seen each other naked what what could possibly go wrong if we go into the same bathroom so we walk into the same bathroom and you know it's actually pretty big and it actually has a urinal and a toilet uh next to each other so i was like yeah i'm just gonna whip out my dick and pee on the you know in the actually not even fuck the urinal the sink no i'm kidding i pissed in the urinal while she pissed in the sink and we we're just actually sitting there for a while even after we were done using the bathroom we we're just chilling there we we're just like what if we kind of, you know, fucked right now? And she was just like, she was laughing at it because she thought I was joking. I mean, shit, I mean, I, re I really wasn't. I mean, I, I, I was kind of joking and I kind of wasn't not at the same time because, I, you know, I'm, I'm a boy and boys will be boys. I'm a horny little fuck. I'm not going to lie. You know, girls, you guys know how guys are and shit. I'm sorry, but I, I truly am very sexually fucking frustrated. So I just wanted to, you know, beat my meat basically or catch my nuts somehow. So, you know, we actually kind of like started it's playing around and you know kind of kissing all that and i kind of put her up on the sink and i uh started unfastening her uh pants and all that and then a knock came on the door bruh <laughs> thank god that we locked the door because some dude was knocking on the bathroom saying that he had a piss and i was just like 
Mm, okay, see, I'm about to like insert my dick, and there's this dude on the other side of the of the door banging on it because he has to go pee. I mean, shit, dude, you're out of luck. Go pee in a fucking bush. I mean, kind of busy with some kind of bush right now. And I was just standing there, and he kept on knocking really hard and shaking the doorknob. And I was just like, "Yo, bro, I'm taking a shit." And he's just like, "Come on, man, hurry up." I was like. I look around, I'm just like, you really think I'm going to hurry up? First of all, even if I wasn't about to, you know, put my dick inside of someone, why would you tell a man to hurry up while he's taking a shit? That is just, dis- that's, first of all, that's disrespectful. That's just, fu- that, what the fuck, man? You got to think about what the other person is thinking, you know? You can't just tell someone, yo, tell your bowel movements to hurry the fuck up because I got to go tinkle. Bro, you gotta, you can walk your ass to a different bathroom because I'm busy right here. So I was, you know, was trying to go back in there and this man keeps knocking on the door and just screaming at me. Like, I'm sorry, I got flaccid as r- fast as fuck because of this dude, man. I picture this man to be like bald as fuck, sweaty as hell, you know, just jumping around like a little fucking jelly bean because he's like has to tinkle and shit. I'm just like, give me like t- 10 minutes, like, go take a lap. And give me 10 minutes and I'll be finished. So literally, like, he stops knocking and I he walks away. I hear, like, footsteps going away. And I'm just like, all right, I'm not going to be able to do this, man. I, I just really can't, you know, do this. And she was like, come on, just let's just try. And I was just like, nah, we smell like shit too, man. I'm smelling my ball sweat. I can't do this right now. So I was, I got turned off by one, the bald dude that was probably on the other side of the door. Or maybe a really masculine female. And then... You know, obviously the fucking sweat that was just not that appealing. So, uh, yeah, it didn't go so well. So I cocked blocked myself and I was also probably cocked blocked by a bald dude that had to tinkle. So after that, luckily, we when we got out of the bathroom, uh, there was nobody waiting in the hallway. Thank God, because that'd be really awkward, especially if it was an employee. That would even be worse. But I'm pretty sure I could probably, you know, probably finesse my way out of there, you know, say that, oh, you know, the, the women's bathroom is being cleaned or something. So we had a tinkle, you know, we just we were just going to do it quick. So... That was a pretty fun experience, honestly, and uh, we we're actually going to plan to actually have sex the following year, senior year, at the zoo, but um, yeah, we never actually went to the zoo on that field trip, and that was kind of a bummer. We actually missed out on that zoo field trip, and um, and it's pretty sad because we actually had the lube ready, the condom ready, and we just forgot, so... Yeah, what a bummer, but I'm probably gonna not try that ever again because now I'm going to be turning 18 and if I do get caught, then I'm probably gonna get fucked because if you do get caught having sex in public in some areas, especially where there's children, like a fucking zoo, not a fucking zoo, a normal zoo, because a fucking zoo would be all the animals are having intercourse, including the humans, but no, just a regular zoo, you'd probably be registered as a sex offender, so don't do that, just don't do that. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please drop a like and don't forget to click that subscribe button for more enjoyable, pleasing content. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.